Hey everyone, it's Dana Shea Williams with KeepAllYourCash.com and guess what? Oh my god, like I'm so excited. I'm going to try to keep my composure here. Um, I just got back from an incredible event in Chicago for Empower Network and it was such an incredible event and I had tons of interviews and I had recorded on my Galaxy tablet, which is, if you don't know, it's basically just, just like an iPad, just the Android version. And um, I had like lots of interviews, I took lots of notes, I had all this stuff on the tablet and in my haste, you know, getting back to the airport, I left it somewhere. Now, I live in Virginia Beach, the event was in Chicago, okay? So I realized as I'm going through the airport security checkpoint, I took my laptop out, I took out, you know, all my little, you know, toiletries and things and I realized I did not have my tablet. So I about threw up, right? Because not only is it worth hundreds of dollars, but even more so than that, it had like my interviews and my notes and those things I just can never get back. So, you know, I was really bummed about it, but my flight was about to leave. I didn't have time to go back. So one of my team members who happened to be flying um, on that same flight with me, he recommended that, you know, I call um, the last place that I was at, which was I was on the shuttle from my hotel to the airport. So as soon as I got through security, I called the shuttle company and they were like, nope, there's nothing here. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I just got off the shuttle 15 minutes ago. What are you talking about? So they were like, nope, sorry, but if we find anything, we'll call you. And I'm like, okay, great. So I was like, well, let me call the hotels. And not only did I call my hotel that I was at, but there were three other hotels that that shuttle went to. So I called all of those hotels just to see if anyone had turned it in. Everyone said no. So I'm racking my brain like, okay, where else was I? You know how you try to like retrace your steps and thinking about, you know, where in the world, where in the world was I at? So then I had the idea that I was going to call the theater where we had our event. But of course, this was Sunday. This was like late Sunday evening as I was making all these phone calls. So of course, the theater was closed. So Monday, which was yesterday, I give the theater a call and they're like, nope, we're sorry. Nothing like that has been turned in. But we'll take your information down, and if anything comes up, we'll give you a call. And I'm like, okay. So then, who else did I call? I called all the hotels again just to see if anyone had, you know, returned it. Still nothing. So then I'm like, okay, let me call the airport. So I call the airport to see if maybe I had left the tablet in the check-in, you know, when you check in, see if I had left it there. Nothing. So I said, you know what? I am going to believe that this tablet is going to be returned. So my son, who's almost 14, God love the 14-year-olds, He's like, Mom, you need to just give up. Nobody's going to turn that in. Do you know how much money that's worth? Somebody's going to sell it on eBay. Somebody's going to, you know, do all this stuff. I'm like, Chris, stop thinking like that. Stop talking like that. I'm choosing to believe for the best. So my daughter, love my daughter, she comes in and she's like, Mom, if you believe, I'm going to believe with you. And I was like, thank you so much, Kayla. So let's pray. Because I believe, I mean, like the Bible teaches where two or three are gathered together in in God's name, there he is in the midst of them. So me and my daughter are sitting on my bed and we're, we're holding hands and we're praying, Lord, please let me, mommy find her tablet. God, please let me find this tablet because I have like all this stuff up there. I mean, it's wide open. Which is my crazy self didn't even put a lock on the thing. So it's like all my emails, my Facebook, everything, my, my business email, all that stuff is just like wide open. So the guy on the plane, bless his heart, tells me, he's like, well, why don't you, so I'm backing it up, back up. So was I'm on, when I'm on the plane on Sunday, the guy's like, you know, send an email to yourself, basically saying, hey, if you're reading this email, please give me a call. So I even did that. Still nothing. So just about five minutes ago, my phone rings and it's an Illinois phone number. And I'm like, hmm, this must be the hotel telling me they still didn't find it. So it was actually the lady from the theater who called me and said, we have your tablet. And well, actually, before she said that, she said, tell me a little bit about it. So I gave her a description of it, told her exactly how it looked, told her, you know, I don't want to say on this in this video because I don't have it yet. But basically, I told her, you know, exactly what it was. And she was like, we have your tablet. And I was like, ah! like, I literally screamed on the phone. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Like, she started laughing. I mean, I was so excited. But you guys, I wanted to do this video because I want to instill in you the power of belief. You know what? It doesn't matter if it's a tablet that's lost, if it's someone in your family who's dealing with a terminal um, illness, a cancer. It doesn't matter if you're believing God for a new business, a new business idea. It doesn't matter if your house is in foreclosure and the bank is telling you there's nothing that they're willing to do to help you out. It does not matter. The Bible says in Mark 9.23, all things are possible to those who believe. What does all things mean? It means all things. Everything is possible to you if you believe. And you have to believe and not waver. My husband was telling me, my son was telling me, everyone was like, you know what, Dana, it's a wrap. My husband's like, we can get you another one. No, I don't want another one. I want that one because I'm believing that that one is going to be found. And so against all odds, you guys, someone turned it in. 
And see, this is the power of belief. When you believe and when you do not waver in your mind, incredible things happen. So I just wanted to shoot this video because I'm like psyched out of my mind. I was in the middle of reading, you know, doing some personal development stuff. I can't even like focus. Like, I'm so excited. I just can't even believe. Like, and the crazy thing is like, you know, I believe, right? But then there's still that part of me that didn't believe. And that takes me back to a parable. Or it's not a parable. It's actually a story in the Bible where Jesus healed this man's daughter who had died. And, the, and Jesus asked him, do you believe? And he said, I do believe, but help my unbelief. And so many of us, we have that going on in our minds. We have the belief factor, but there's still there, that unbelief, that doubt that's there. And you guys probably heard it said, if you feed your faith, your doubt will starve. If you feed your doubts, your faith will starve. So even though those doubtful thoughts kept kind of coming and they would be like, man, it's been, what, two days now since I've been back home. You know, no one's called. But I said, you know, what? I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm praying. I have my whole team praying. Everyone's praying. Even the people who, who aren't Christians, they're praying. You know, they're saying something. Good thoughts, happy thoughts, whatever you call it. You know, and it was found. And so I just wanted to do this video just to encourage you all, whatever you're believing for, keep believing. Speak it in faith. And wait for the manifestation of whatever you're hoping for to happen because it will happen. So that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.